Hey guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see, my office has changed uh, a little bit. I'm uh, traveling at the moment and uh, working on my photography business and also preparing for new tutorials for you guys. So, and uh, enjoy this video while I'm gone and I'll be back soon with all new material. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna model a, a Wild West style coffee pot today. Okay, so let's get started. So let's take a uh, polygon cylinder, and uh, if I open up my attribute editor, you're gonna see that I have a subdivision level of 20, right? Not happy with that, so I'm gonna make sure I get this guy selected. I'm gonna hit R to uh, pull it out until I have a height that I'm happy with. And then I'm gonna right click, go to vertex, drag click the bottom, flare that out to about there, and then flare this out. And you want to have a little taper to it, but not too much. This is more than enough, right? Now I want to get rid of those top faces there, so I'm gonna right click at a face. I'm gonna drag click all of these faces and shift drags like these. So I just got the top ones. We're gonna lead that. Uh, let's go to vertex and flare this out a bit more. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, let's see, insert edge loop option box single setting there we go and we're going to go in here i want one right here that we're going to work on in a bit later then i want one here i want one here we'll go up we'll do one here we'll do one here and we'll do one right there okay q on a keyboard we're going to right click at a face click and shift double click and click and shift double click we're going to control e to extrude that's to minus 0.1 on the thickness, which is all right. Then we're going to click and shift double click on this one and shift and shift double click on this one. Control E to extrude and we're going to go with a positive 0.1, which is uh, okay. Then we're going to go in and we're going to go and do our enter edge loop again. We'll do one uh, up here, we'll do one there just to hold that shape, one there, we'll do one here, one there, we'll do one here and one there, and then we'll go to the bottom, we'll do one here, one there, one there. Okay, Q on a keyboard, right click object mode, three to preview smooth. All right, that's what we have so far, okay? Hit one to go back. Next, we're gonna take a new polygon cylinder. Hit W, pull that up, and make sure we are not in preview smooth mode, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R and we're gonna flare this guy out until we are close to where we need to be, like so. Hit W, pull that up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of those bottom faces. So right click face, drag select, uh, drag select, shift to drag select and delete. There you go. We're gonna right click go to vertex. We're gonna push these up like this. And then we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna right click go to face, drag select them and delete them. Okay. So now that we have this guy, let's go push it back in, have to zoom in, let's go in and insert edge loop, let's put one in right there, Q on a keyboard, right click face, click and shift double click, control E to extrude, 0 0.3, looks right, okay, then we're gonna right click get an edge, we're gonna double click on this edge, control E to extrude, R to scale in, and W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale in, W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale in, W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale in, W to push up, and one more time, G, R, let's do something like this, and push that up. Look at that slope, looks all right. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude. We're gonna hit W to push it up to about here. 
and then we're going to right click at a vertex, drag select that, and we're going to hit R to flare that out a little bit. Let's actually hit W and push it down a little bit like that. Okay. Then we're going to right click at an edge, we're going to double click on that. We've got it selected, Control E again, W to push up, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push up. Hard to scale in. All right, and then we're going to go to mesh and fill hole. Then we're going to go into uh, injured edge loop again. Uh, let's do one there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's go in here. What we're going to do is we're going to hit R. We're going to scale this one in a little bit. Scale that in a little bit. Flow that one out like that. Take this one, bring them in a little. And then we need to fix that little thing on top there. Now I don't want my uh, coffee pot to get in the way, so I'm going to select it and hit H to hide it. And I'm going to take this guy, hit 4 for wireframe mode. So this is the end gun we need to fix, okay? So we're gonna go to Modeling Toolkit, we're gonna take the Multi-Cut tool, and we're gonna jump from here to there, hit Enter, there to there, Enter, 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 here and then we're going to go from here to there and here to there and the purpose here is to avoid and guns of course Close down this guy and this guy. Jump to our perspective view. Q on our keyboard, go to object mode, hit three to preview smooth, have a look. Let's go to uh, display and show all. So there you have it. Couple of things you can do here if you like, uh, want to go back, you can go in and um, add an edge loop here to hold that shape and then one here and one there and then go in here and push one in there okay now we're gonna call this guy done not the whole thing but the, the lid all right so now we need to uh, put on a handle, and uh, I think it's called a, a snout or something. I'm not sure what it's called, okay? So let's uh, focus on uh, the snout for now. So how are we gonna do that? Well, a couple of ways we can do that. Um, let's see, we will we'll do it the easy way. That's always best, right? So this seems to be in good shape, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, polygon cube, we're going to hit W, we're going to pull that out, and we're going to go in, I'm going to rotate it, hold on J, until it's at an angle like this, and then we're going to go in and we're going to select this face, this one, this one, and this one. So we basically get this shape right here, okay, object mode. We're going to hit R to uh, scale that up and scale the whole thing up a little bit. That's maybe a bit much. We're going to hit W. We're going to bring that in. And bring that up. And uh, let's see, somewhere around here. So what we want to do here is um, obviously connect that. Okay. Now I want this to be uh, sloped. So I'm going to go to Vertex. These two need to be very close together, so we're going to hit R, and I need to change the orientation, so double click here, 
open that up. Let's go to world orientation. So I can push them together like that. And for us to get the shape that we want, and what I'll do here is I'll just uh, merge these two together. And there you go. So we need to add some subdivision. So let's go in, insert edge loop, option box, and let's do, let's do four. And there you go, okay, Q on our keyboard, right? So that's not too bad. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna W, we're gonna bring that in here. And let's start with the bottom there. Okay, so that looks fine. And then we're gonna jump into, let's do this view right here. All right, so I'm gonna right click at a vertex, I'm gonna drag select this, push that down here. And then I'm gonna drag select this and bring that in. Drag like this, bring that in. It's 4 4 iframe mode so we can see it better. And then we're gonna create an angle here. So we're gonna bring this way in. And let's work down from the top here. So that's what we have so far. Let's look at these top ones here. A little bit too much going on here, looks like. Just these guys. Okay, we got a little issue down here. And that is because of them being merged together. All right, so we're gonna take this. And I don't want that to be looking like that, of course. So what we're gonna do there is we are going to insert edge loop down here, oops. We're gonna go to insert edge loop, option box, single setting. on a keyboard and we're gonna right click good vertex take these two vertices hit R and push them out a little it's better okay so now that we have that we're not quite there yet we're gonna go in to uh, injured edge loop again and let's do multiple let's do three Let's uh, put them in like this, okay? Q on a keyboard. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna double click on this guy, and we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna kind of flare that a little bit. Come on, double click on this one. Flare that out a little bit. Take this one, flare that out. And that looks all okay. And then what we're gonna do is go to object mode. We're gonna hit control E to extrude the whole thing. Let's do 0 0.1, let's see how that looks. Maybe 0 0.03 is a bit better, yeah. And then let's see what this looks like when it's smoothed out. And it seems to be okay. All right, now these need to be connected of course. So I'm gonna select this guy and this guy and we're gonna go to Mesh, uh, Boolean, and Union to make it into one object. And then we have that all set up. Let's hit four. 
Yeah, we are gonna need to fix some M guns, but that's okay. All right, so now what we have left is our handle. Okay, so we're gonna go in and this view right here. And let's see, we're gonna go to uh, create curve tool, CV curve tool. And let's be a bit creative about it. Okay, so we're gonna click here. something like this okay all right now <clears throat> excuse me we're gonna take a, a polygon cube we're gonna hit W we're gonna pull that up and at this point I want to hide all of this so I'm just gonna hit H to hide it we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna start to bring that in now uh, we started our curve here at the top so I'm gonna right click, go to face, and I'm gonna drag select these faces and get rid of them. I just want this one. And I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna hit R to push that in until we get something like this. And maybe hit R and scale it back a little, okay? Now it's important to go to modify and center pivot. And then we're gonna right click, go to face, select this face, shift select the curve, hit control E to extrude, and we're gonna increase that subdivision level quite a bit. Let's uh, do 80, all right? Which will give us this, looks all right. So um, now that we have that, we're gonna tweak this a little bit. First, I'm gonna go in to object mode. I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type history. So I can go into the outliner, take that curve and delete it. And then we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna go to this edge right here, double click on it. We're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate this guy a little bit. And then we're gonna take the bottom one and kind of do the same, okay? Now this will be smooth. Let's give that a try. Let's hit three looks like this so it looks fine all right okay so I want to go back we're gonna go to uh, let's see display and show all all right let's make sure it's uh, positioned correctly so we're gonna hit W we're gonna bring that in we want it to have contact the top and bottom seems to be all right then we're gonna select all parts we're gonna go to mesh and combine we are gonna go to uh, mesh and clean up. And let's see, I want to uh, make sure that any end guns are addressed and uh, this looks all okay. Let's see here. And it's gonna be triangulated, but that's, uh, that's okay. Um, and let's hit clean up. Actually, it's not triangulated. I thought that that was my setting, but it's okay. And now what you can do, if you want, is go up to a mesh and smooth to actually smooth it, which will give you your final coffee, uh, coffee pot, if you will. So yeah, this is it. This is our coffee pot. Uh, hopefully you had some fun doing this and maybe you learned something. And if you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.